Fears have gripped the people of Imo State as a weary capital development agency, OCDA, attempted demolishing a multi-billionaire all-seasons hotel belonging to the People's Democratic Party, PDP chieftain, Mikey Koku. Eyewitnesses say the OCDA invaded the hotel with fully armed security operatives and cut the pillars with the aim of bringing the hotel to the rubble, at, to the rubble but met heavy resistance from the people. Despite the resistance, OCDA allegedly sponsored thugs, however, succeeded in pulling the fence of the hotel down. The general manager of Oweri Capital Development Authority, Frank Klein Kim, declined comments over the matter. I'm going to say that it's a witch hunt because, one, I also know that the chairman of uh, this place was one time a staunch supporter of uh, the present governor and gave him all the necessary support at the onset. If at any point in time they disagree, you know, on policy or issues, I do not see why it should be applied to his business. I do not see it as a witch hunt. Besides, Evangelist Mike Ikoku is a person. All Seasons Group is a body corporate that pays its tax. If at any point in time you feel that it has defaulted in its corporate responsibility, you should deal with the body corporate, the company, differently from the opinion of the owner. So I do not see it as a witch hunt, but if it is, it is grossly unfortunate. This morning I was called, I was in a meeting when my staff called me that they noticed a caterpillar removing the vag in the hotel environment. And I ran out to stop them. I told them, say, please, this place is, has an approval letter. If the approval has been revoked, please allow us to personally remove this. Before I could finish talking, all of them ran because I was holding my phone and calling my boss to inform him that so, so, so people are in the environment. And I don't know what was their aim. They came, ran on me, ran on our staff. In fact, they have damaged one of my staff hand. This hand, I was carrying this bandage and they twist it to, to, to a point of breakage. My hand now, as I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not the one have, ha, having it. My phone is missing. The other boys' phones are missing. The most embarrassing aspect of it is that they came right, they broke my fence. They broke the hotel fence and ran into my, the hotel, up to the point of the kitchen, to pick a car hire man who came to drop a, a guest here. And they, 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 when they terrorize him that he's using phone, which he was not, he has nothing to do with uh, snapping or the do the they tore his bed, almost rendered him naked, and then he ran away for his safety. That is inside the compound, not even at the veg. That's the most annoying. Inside the hotel, uh, uh, this thing, they ran in there. And when from the reception, they ran until they got to the kitchen where the boy ran to, to take safety and pick him and plaster him from there. In fact, one of them was telling them that they should shoot him. One of them was saying they should shoot the boy. I, ran, I had to now fell on the ground and beg them, do not shoot this boy. He has not done you anything. My own is that if the veg has been revoked, then allow us, allow us to remove it gently. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.